Turning now to your weather, we're continuing to watch the heat wave, but first tonight we've got brand new video of a dust devil swirling in West Charlotte. This happened along Tuckaseegee Road. Yeah, you see it start as a weak spiral, then it picks up speed and more dust. In just a matter of seconds, we're seeing a scary looking whirlwind. Brad, we've uh, been talking about the heat for days now. Looking at this video, does the heat play a factor for dust devils? How, how do they form? It absolutely does. Hot, dry weather like this is perfect conditions for it. This one got so tall. You see how tall wow. it is that drivers from I-85 actually could see this because as soon as I posted on my Facebook page, I had a bunch of commuters say I saw that thing from 85 today and that was just an impressive one. Let me show you how these things form. They're not really tornadoes. When we get days like this and the sun is heating up the ground and you need some really hot ground, dusty surfaces, parking lots, fields work pretty well. You create an updraft. That updraft is hot air lifting off the ground. You're basically creating a mini area of low pressure. Well, as that air gets lifted off the surface, air is going to rush in to replace it. So you see wind coming in from both directions and when you throw in a little bit of a cross breeze, it starts it rotating. So as soon as the heat continues to lift, it forms the funnel and it will feed itself. It will continue to pull in hot, dry air, sucking it up, pulling up dust, debris, whatever's around. Wind sometimes could be up to 50 or 60 miles an hour, blowing around tents and small debris. But as soon as this gets into a cool area or cool air gets entrained into it, it goes away. You see these a lot out west, but occasionally here in the Carolinas, you'll see them, especially when you're in a drought with conditions like today. 